Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. <sighs> Today, we're gonna do another page, which actually I wanted to take the page out of the book. Um, let me take that out. Cause I just think with the design that I have going on this page, um, it will be easier to do it out of the book. So I'm just trying to open this get this page out and I'm, I don't want to close these rings because they're kind of a pain to open not bad but you know well I guess I better I better because I'm afraid it might come undone and then I'll make a mess okay so this is the page we're going to be putting this on it's going to be one of the writing pages so what we're going to do today is create a flip that will come out and there's going to be some pockets on it so um, what I think we'll do first is this is there's so this is all the pieces to this. This is like, all right. I think what I'll do first, just to get these out of the way, is I'm going to put this on here. Okay, this is going to be the pocket that flips out, and I'm going to just put this right down here. I think I've got everything inked, backed, and all that kind of stuff. The only problem is my glue. So. I really probably should have filled it up before I got started because that does make a difference. But I'm gonna to try to keep it on its side and hopefully that will make it easier. Now, I don't know if I had mentioned, I think I did mention in one of the last videos where I was using this kit, I'm always looking for something else there's something else I think I want to see, something else that I need this or I need that for this. I'm terrible with that. But in any case, it is a vice of mine. <laughs> um, but I came across this kit by Carolyn's Musings, and it's called, and I don't speak French, it's called Belle en Rouge, um, which I think means Lady in Red. Um, so, or something to that effect. And it's got like sort of a, a Victorian, I don't know, maybe 1880s, uh, early 1890s, um, looking kind of sketchy woman in these colors and these blacks and reds and tans and, you know, vintage colors like that. And uh, pushing it too far up, trying to bring it back down to the bottom of the page. Come on. You can do it. There we go, that's pretty good. All right, not bad, good, good, good. Okay, um, so I haven't been using the ladies, but I've been pulling out sections of the papers and you know, just cutting sections of the papers and things like that, so yeah. So in this one, I have one of my words, fruit of life, right here, and I put that on a piece of that red cardstock and I'm going to put these strawberries here and one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because this kit is not strawberries <laughs> that I'm taking this out of this kit is um is floral uh, a woman with uh, lots of roses and you know floral themes and things like that and uh yeah so it's not strawberries so this book is not completely strawberry um I think I'm going to put it up just a little higher let me make sure that's straight. Tis not. <laughs> Tis not. All right. Um, and then I'm just going to put that there over the end of that. Yeah, I like it a little higher. That will be good. All right. So let me go ahead. So anyway, um, so yeah, I'm kind of trying to balance this uh, more rustic book with these other plaids that come in this uh, kit from Carolyn and uh, you know with the florals and with the with the strawberries so I didn't want this to be completely all floral because there's a couple of other pages in here where I really just did use those so I was trying to put the strawberries on it to, you know, make it look like it's a strawberry kind of thing. <laughs> strawberry florals. Um, so that's what I was doing. 
why I wanted the strawberries on here. And one of these cards that are going in here will be a strawberry um, journaling card. So that is that. So that is the outside of that pocket. Now I know this looks funny. So this is gonna be the next thing we do. Um, what I did was I took a piece of paper, just a section of this wood one that I'm using. Um, I think I mentioned it in the last uh, video. Delightful Digi Art it is, and it was shabby wood. Um, so I just took a section of that and kind of cut it down. I didn't, because I don't usually back my papers, I just uh, inked it in here. So in case you open the pocket a little bit, you kind of don't see white. But to cover this, I decided to do this piece. Now, this also was from Carolyn's kit. It's going to go this way, and I've already scored and folded it to match this score here and this fold, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue that down. And I wanna try to think of the best way to do that. Um, I think would be, I think it would be to glue this edge, which I will do with the, uh, of course I stood the bottle up, <laughs> which I'll do with the three in one. Hi, hi, hi. I have to remember when I'm done here, I have to clean up this area and uh, before I go up and do dinner. So I think I'm gonna try to remember to try to fill up this bottle of glue. I mean, it's not near empty, but it just seems to work so much better for me if it's very, very, you know, full and, and fresh near the top. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that outside want the notch on the outside here and we're just going to line this up. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Just going to push that in there, push that in there. Let's get my bone folder so we can kind of make sure it's good and pressed down and I'm not worried about any glue overflow. I did take another little piece of paper to reinforce. You can do one of two things, and I do do one of two things. If I remember, I cut the piece big enough to fold an end in, so, you know, that sort of helps uh, to reinforce the edges. Um, so, okay. I think I got this right, right? I think. This is now gonna get glued down inside, okay? I just want the lumps out. This is just gonna get glued flat to the inside. I am absolutely freezing down here, by the way. It's just, I don't know what it is. I only have one vent in this room and it's closed. But you know, even when you close it, just a little bit leaks out, you know, kind of thing. It's right over where I keep my computers and my printer. Uh, my com yeah, my computers and my printer because I have two uh, work and my own. Um, I do both down here because it's a place to sit where they fit and I have plugs and printers and things. Um, so that being said, uh, it's right over that. And uh, in the winter, it's nice and toasty and I close the door in the winter to the rest of the basement and I open the vent and I and it stays nice and and pretty warm I, I get a little chilly from time to time I'll admit but for the most time uh, part it stays you know pretty warm all right we're just gonna give that another another fold and let's crease it good okay yeah I want that little blob out of there out out Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the pocket down. I'm gonna do that with the Barely Art glue. Okay. That's gonna go here and over here. So I'm really liking this. I've been working in this journal pretty much exclusively, though as I come across things and think of ideas, I've been, um, you know, kind of tucking all that to the side for the other one, which was, it's a little more, um, 
perky, I think is the word I used last time. Just, it's not as rustic um, as these, as this one is. Um, it's a little lighter, a little brighter, a little more cottagey looking than rustic looking, I guess is maybe for me how I would describe it. Okay, so that is our flip right there, okay? What we're gonna do here, and I'm gonna keep that folded, is we have a pocket right here. And I think this is the card that's gonna go in the pocket, okay? And I think before I put the pocket on, I have, yes I do, I pulled out some lace. Like I said, I'm not using lace and ribbon everywhere, and I'm not using it in like great abundance wherever I am using it. I just wanted a little something. So we're just gonna, a little bit every, you know, every here and there. So we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to line up one of these with the edge and hopefully, yeah, that should be okay. So let me go ahead, put the glue down here. I'm only going across this top, not down the bottom or not down the little short side, I should say, just across the slant. Okay, put that there. And we are going to turn this around so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And I said, I can go here with that. Yep, leaves me plenty. All right, and we'll go here and here. Okay, bring that down. I usually like to flip it over to see if it looks even, and it does. Looks like every, all the little pieces are where they should be. So let me get these scissors and I'm gonna try to cut just up the side of that little triangle. I'm gonna go along the back, put a little bit more glue. In some places I have more, in some places I do not. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of some of that excess here. Okay, I gotta get on there a little bit better. A little bit better. The ends are important. Okay. Alrighty. So then I'm just gonna try to cut straight up here. All right, and now that that is done, I'm just gonna come over here, kind of get around that little triangle. I just wanna trim the little, the little hairs that were hanging off there. Okay, we'll put that back. Let's kinda of repin this and put this away. Okay, I am hoping, guys, that the next video you see after this one should be my craft room tour. Fingers crossed. Okay, the next thing that's going on here is this little pocket. I cut this out of one of the tags from the kit and just made it a little shorter. I made the tag a little smaller and then made this even a little bit shorter still to fit on here and fussy cut out the end. So we're gonna go ahead and take our barely art glue and go along the three sides for a pocket. Yeah. So, do that. Let's put this down here. Try to line that up. Now what I have going in this pocket is just three little, I think it's three, three or four, little pieces that I just, I did not back them because they're tiny. Um, and somebody may write on them, but I, I view them more as decoration. So I have, I have three. So I have this one, this one, and I did ink the backs and then this one. Okay. And they can kind of, kind of go up like that and like that and like that along there. 
okay? All right, that being said, I'm gonna take them out for now because we're working. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue this on. I wanna make sure I'm on the right, the right place. We're gonna glue this pocket and I'm not going to glue here, just these two sides. Um, I don't believe the journaling card comes out past there, but if whoever gets this journal decides they wanted to tuck another little piece of paper or something that might be a little larger um, than the pocket, it, there's room, I believe, to the end. Yes, okay. And I'm gonna bring that right to the edge to give us maximum space in the pocket. This might be a little crooked. I see a little spot where there's some glue. So let me try to use my glue eraser to get that off. Another one up here. You can see how that rolls it right off the paper. Really nice. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Now, these will be the cards. This one before we, let's, well, let's glue it on the page. So here's the page. Okay. And we're just going to glue the three sides here, here, and here. Okay. And again, with the barely art. And while that is setting, in place, I'm going to put one little bow on the card that goes in this pocket, which is the strawberry card. The other two cards are floral. Okay. And that's that. Now we're going to try to line this up with the edges of the page right here. Okay. That looks pretty good. I think we are good. Okay. Oh, one other place I wanna put a little glue. And that's right here. Just a little dab to hold that little piece of lace down. Okay, I think I'm done with this now. Well, for a minute. I know I'm done with this, so let's put this one away. Okay. All right, so let's let that set. And for right now, let's go over here. I'm going to get my sort of, sort of small, um, hole punch and I'm going to kind of center this. That would be three. I think I really want to bring it in. So I'm going to go two and I want it where I want it. Um, yeah, let's bring it in and two. Okay, right about there and there, okay? What that's gonna do is it should give me a little bit of ribbon coming in. I'm hoping I'm okay here. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect, but it sure would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, and what I have here is some black, like narrow black grain. so I am going to go ahead and now this unravels even if you cut it on an angle all of course most of it all unravels doesn't it but um, what I will do is just take a little bit of glue and a little bit of water and um, kind of wet the edges of it and hopefully that will help it to stop um, fraying or keep it from fraying. 
and I'll do that before I actually cut it. Okay, let's, I'm trying to make the ribbon lay flat is what I'm trying to do here, flat-ish. Okay, bring that here. Alrighty, I'm not sure how long that is. So I'm just gonna take a guess. All right, come back here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, tie this bow. And what I do when I tie the bows is I usually take my little skinny nozzle and go in. I just want the bow kind of small. I go into the knot and yeah, cause I want you to see the, the uh, ribbon out here is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. And this I'll end up cutting down, but, oh, well, that won't work. I just kind of go under the ribbon in the knot and that hopefully will secure it and keep it from coming undone. I'm going to glue this one down back here, just a little bit of glue underneath there. And then what I'm going to do here is I'll just take, I need something to put it on, not you. <laughs> How about this? Okay. So squeeze out a little glue. I don't need a lot. Squirt it with a dot of water. Don't need a lot. Okay. Get a little, um, I was going to say toothbrush. We don't want a toothbrush. Get a little, um, one of these things. What do you call them? Uh, paintbrushes. There you go. Get a little paintbrush with some of the gluey water on it. And I just go over the ends. And then we're going to let that sit and dry, hopefully off my card. Stop it pick this side up and then I'll try to move it someplace and put something on it. Okay. It's just a little glue water. You know, actually I'm thinking we get a little more glue here. Um, I want them shorter. Yes. I want them shorter. I want them only about here. So let me go ahead and put that both sides. Okay, I'm hoping I'm getting it in virtually the same place. Okay, yeah, I think so. All right, and then this side, the same, more or less. It kind of did go through, which is good. I'm trying to get more of the glue than the water. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna kind of take these I'm going to stick something on them so they'll stay off of the card. And we'll clean this out completely later because it is water soluble. All right. So then for right now, let me spin this back around. Okay. Put the scissors away. We've got it on the page. This is the card that's going to go in the front here and see it does kind of come out. So it's a good thing I didn't do that. So that one goes in there. In here is this one. That one's going to go right in there. And then the next one is this one. So let me just roll up this ribbon and get it out of my way. Come on. Okay. Ooh, wrong pin. Here it is. I knew that because there was glue on it. <laughs> Okay, we'll put that over there. All right, let's see if I can get these cut. They're probably not dry yet, but for the sake of getting this done, cut that one and cut. I'm trying to get it to go on a slant. There it is. Okay, and that one goes in here. And then these go as I said, in here, 
like so. Just these cute small little pieces. And then that is gonna go back in the book here. This is just here to tell me I have to do something on that page. And what I've decided for that page is just a small corner tuck. So this page managed to be able to be just a little more elaborate. I try on these envelope pages not to cover too much of the design because the papers are so pretty. So I'm just gonna take that off. I think I know what I'm gonna do on that one, but I don't know it yet. So this is this page for this one. Uh, so we have a card in here. So you have that journaling card. And then you have these cute little pieces down in here. Then this flips open and you have a card, a journaling card in here. Okay. And then you have this tuck in here and this journaling card in here and then all the space on your writing page to write. So that is the piece for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this part of doing our rustic uh, strawberry journal and just kind of stick that back in there. So that's it. So in the meantime, guys, be safe, be happy, and be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.